Have you ever wondered why so many heart attacks seem to happen early in the morning, not in the middle of the day, not during midnight sleep, but in those quiet hours before sunrise, between 3 a.m. and 6 a.m.? This isn't just random. Scientists have discovered that your body's own internal clock, your circadian rhythm, can actually influence when your heart is most vulnerable. During those early hours, your cardiovascular system is working harder than you can actually realize. And between 3 o'clock a.m. and 6 a.m., your brain begins preparing for the upcoming day. Your adrenal glands release more cortisol, your wake-up hormone. That rise helps your transition out of that deep sleep, but it also raises blood pressure as well as your heart rate. Your blood vessels tighten, your arteries constrict, and your blood becomes thicker and stickier, all part of your body's normal rhythm. Here's the danger. Your platelets, those tiny cells that help form clots, they become more reactive at this time. A study in circulation found that platelet stickiness increases sharply after 3 a.m. Another study in the New England Journal of Medicine revealed that heart attacks are up to 40% more likely between 6 a.m. and noon with the biological setup beginning hours earlier. So as the night ends, your blood thickens, your pressure climbs, and your body's clot dissolving system is at its weakest. Now add mild overnight dehydration. You haven't had water for 68 hours and your blood viscosity rises even more. It's a perfect storm quietly building while you sleep. Cardiologists today call this the morning surge. For anyone with narrowing or inflammation in their arteries, that surge can turn a partial blockage into a full one. And if you take blood pressure medication only in the morning, its protection is lowest right when that surge begins. That's why some doctors now use chronotherapy, timing medications at night to protect the heart through those early morning hours. So, what can you do to help your heart stay safe while you sleep? First, stay hydrated. Drink water throughout the day and take a few small sips before bed if your doctor allows, which I don't see a problem. Hydration keeps your blood smooth and reduces that viscosity overnight. Second, prioritize deep, consistent sleep. Fragmented or shallow sleep keeps cortisol levels high and prevents your nervous system from fully resetting. Third, lower your stress system before bed. Practice slow breathing. Inhale five seconds, exhale five seconds. That simple routine activates your vagus nerve, calming your heart, helping you enter those three to six a.m. hours in a protected parasympathetic state. And fourth, you want to align your body clock. Get that natural light within an hour of waking and try to avoid bright screens late at night. Light anchors your circadian rhythm, keeping cortisol stable and improving cardiovascular balance. Gentle evening stretching or even short walks lower nighttime stress, particularly those hormones, and support smoother blood flow. And finally, very important is the fight that inflammation because sticky platelets aren't just about timing. They're about oxidation. Eating foods rich in omega-3 fatty acids like salmon, walnuts, and flax seeds, and using extra virgin olive oil as your main fat, these help keep arteries flexible and your platelets less reactive. The formula is simple but powerful. Hydrate wisely, sleep deeply, breathe slowly, move daily, and nourish your arteries with anti-inflammatory foods. When you do these five things, your heart no longer has to fight against your body's clock. It works in perfect rhythm with it. So tonight, when you close your eyes, remember this. Between 3 and 6 a.m., your heart isn't resting. It's pushing through its hardest shift of the day. Give it what it needs, and it will keep beating strong for years to come. So remember, it's so important to stay proactive. Don't put your faith in other people's hands. Just take care of yourself the best you can and your body will love you. I hope you enjoyed this video and please share it with your friends and family. Leave your comments below and most important, make it a great day. I'm Dr. Alan Mandel.